Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Bowser's giant airship from the Super Mario Bros. movie. If you do enjoy this video, please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Plus, once you've finished making this, I do also have a bunch of other Mario-related builds that you might be interested in, such as the Super Mario Brothers plumbing van, and Princess Peach's castle. And many more. Here are all of the materials that we will need throughout the build. I would highly recommend to start building this at the very least 20 blocks high in the sky, but you can build it lower. We are going to start at the bottom of the ship, so you can start this tutorial on the ground if you like, and you can of course build it higher. It's completely up to you. Begin by placing a row of 12 oak planks either on the ground or in the sky. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then place two up left diagonal oak planks. One, two. Place one on top, and then another diagonal. Extend the diagonal up by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then place a green concrete on top. Then come over onto the opposite side where we started and do the same. So two. Up right diagonal oak planks, one on top, another diagonal, extend up by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place a green concrete on top. The end result should look like this. Next, we want to take the row of 12 oak planks that we placed at the beginning and extend every single block forwards except the ones on the end, so a row of 10 in the middle. We then want to place oak planks inside of and in front of the shape that we have made previously, like this. And of course, we want to do this on both sides. Perfect. We then want to extend every single one of those oak planks forwards by four rows. One, two, three, four. Next, we want to add another row of oak planks that sits in front of and inside of the previous shape that we have just made. However, this time, we don't want to extend any blocks along the bottom. We simply just want to sit inside of the shape like this. And one last time, we are going to once again place a layer of oak planks that sits in front of and inside of this shape. However, this time is a little bit different. You can connect together at the corners if you like. And once you have made the shape like this, we can actually just completely fill it in using our oak planks. Perfect. Whilst we're here as well, we are going to mark out the two middle rows of the ship using birch planks. So if you place them here along the bottom, you should have four rows on the left, four rows on the right. And then we can extend these planks just up and underneath like this. And this might seem a little bit random, but that will be relevant later. 
Next, we are going to shape the sides of the ship. So on either side, extend the green concrete backwards by two rows. One, two, and then two rows of oak planks. One, two, three rows of green concrete. One, two, three, and then two rows of oak. One, two, and finally three rows of green. One, two, three. What we can do from here is extend down from this green concrete using oak planks and the idea is that we want to copy the shape that we have on the front there. So we want to add the diagonal blocks eventually leading all the way down to the bottom here which just to make sure that we've done it correctly we can extend backwards and you can see that we have the same shape on the left and right sides. Then we can connect both of these sides together using oak planks like this and this will fill the side of the ship in for now. like this. And of course, now that we have done that on this side, we can come over onto the opposite side and do the same. So extend the green concrete backwards by two, one, two, and then two oak planks, one, two, three green concrete, one, two, three, two oak planks, one, two, three green concrete, one, two, three, and then we are going to extend down like this, we are going to copy the shape that we have on the front. We are then going to extend this row backwards just to make sure and across as well. And that will give us this. That's absolutely perfect. And of course, all we have to do from here is just connect the front and the back together. And this will be the side filled in. Perfect. And last but not least, we are going to fill the base of the ship in using oak planks. Next, we are going to shape the back of the ship. So to do this, we are going to do a very similar thing to what we did with the front. However, we want to place our row of oak planks that sits in front of and inside of this shape, but we can connect the oak planks together in the corners, and we also want to add the row across the bottom, leaving the ends alone. And now that we have this shape, we are going to extend backwards by an additional five rows. One, two, three, four, five. With this complete, what we can now do is come along to the bottom of the ship and starting on the left side here, we are going to count and find the third block in. So one, two, three. And then we want to place a row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, extending out. We also want to extend up by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, across 
by five, one, two, three, four, five, and then back to the ship. So all of this wants to get turned into a giant box, essentially, which will extend forwards and kind of connect back on itself like this. Perfect. So what we would do next is fill around this shape in on the back of the ship like this. Now I don't know if some of this is going to be a bit wasted as it will be covered up by the rear cabin but we'll just fill it in anyway and then we will proceed to fill in the shape that we've just made. Next, we are going to place two birch planks in the middle of the back of this smaller section that we've made, and on top of it, a row of four oak planks, one, two, three, four, like this. Then at the bottom, upside down oak stairs, and then on top of those stacked up another row of oak planks like this. And what we can now do from here is place birch planks underneath the length of the ship that will connect all the way to the front. Next, as we are working on the back of the ship, we will add a couple of propellers. The way to place these is grab your birch planks and come all the way to here. So hopefully you can locate which block this is. We then want to move inwards a row and then place one, two, three, four birch planks extending outwards. Cyan terracotta, light grey concrete, cyan terracotta. We then want to place stone buttons along the sides of the cyan terracotta, like this, and then extending diagonally off the bottom of the light grey concrete, we want to place a light grey concrete and extend down, and then above it we want to do the opposite, so we want to extend out diagonally and then place another block on top, and that will be one propeller. And we want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So on the opposite side, we locate the same block, which is this one. Extend in one, one, two, three, four birch planks. Then place a cyan terracotta, light gray concrete, cyan terracotta. Stone buttons surrounding the cyan terracotta. Then we want to place light gray concrete extending upwards and outwards diagonally like this one on top and then a light grey concrete down and right diagonally, and then one below. So we just want to have pretty much the same thing on both sides, and that looks really good. Next, we are going to add a band of light grey concrete all the way around the ship. So this is positioned by leaving one row above where we made the propeller, so leave one row alone, and then we want to add a layer of light grey concrete that sits around the entire outside of the ship like this and it will connect to the exact same spot on the opposite side. And then we want to add another layer on top so we can just work back on ourselves. The end result should look like this. The ship has cannons on both sides. The way that we make these is by extending the left and right side of these green concretes forwards by two rows. So one, two, one, two. We then connect them together. One, two, one, two, connect them together. We then place red concrete in the middle with warped buttons on each one of the four corners, some of which we will probably have to destroy. And then underneath this, we want to place 
a yellow concrete underneath the red concrete and then we want to form a circular shape and then destroy the oak plank in the middle like this using yellow concrete and this is the actual cannon itself so the above area is the cannon cover the green and red concrete and the yellow is the actual barrel of the cannon so just like this and this looks really good from the side especially and from here we can now move on to the opposite side and do the same thing Next, on the back of the ship once again, we want to place a white concrete that extends off of the back corner of the ship diagonally. This white concrete then wants to extend down by four, one, two, three, four, and then back by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Extend up and connect back, and then we want to take the corners of the white concrete and extend them across and line them up with the equivalent point on the opposite side. So here, and then extend up, and we can go back on ourselves like this to create a rectangular shape, but we can also extend forwards to the corner, up, and then back, just like this. And then from here, we are going to fill the sides in using red concrete. So we'll do it on both sides. And we also want to fill the bottom and the top in using red concrete as well. So some of this will be a little bit wasted by the time that we add the cabin a little bit later on. But for the most part, it's just a good practice so that we don't leave any accidental gaps in the airship. Next, we are going to add some windows to the back of the shape that we've made. So come all the way over to the bottom left-hand corner of the red concrete here. Right of this, place two red terracotta. Leave a gap of two. Two, 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 two. So what we can then do is add a layer of light blue glass on top of the red terracotta, and then add a layer of red terracotta on top of the glass, like this. Next, we are going to make some of the deck and the back cabin area. So come to the right side of the airship and on top of the back right hand corner of this cannon cover, we'll have to remove this button first, we want to place a row of four white concrete. One, two, three, four. We then want to extend back by two rows, so to the right, one, two, and then up by three, one, two, three, right by two, one, two, up by three, one, two, three, then right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. What we are then going to do is come over onto the opposite side and do a very similar thing, basically the same thing. So on this corner of the cannon cover, we'll remove this and place one, two, three, four white concrete. Then we're going to extend to the left, one, two, up by three, one, two, three, left two, one, two, up by three, one, two, three, and then left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we want to place rows of four extending inwards diagonally yet backwards from each of these rows. So we'll place a diagonal inwards like this and then extend backwards, one, two, three. Do the same on the opposite side. So a diagonal inwards, one, two, three. And then we want to join these two rows together like this. So very simply, we have a row of four inwards diagonally on both sides and then we just want to connect together at the corners like this with a long row of white concrete. We then want to place rows of birch planks that extend from the first white concrete that we've placed 
and the birch planks want to line up with the rows of white concrete that are above. like so. And the point of this is that we can then connect the row of birch planks upwards to the rows of white concrete using red concrete. So this will essentially be the outline for the back part of the ship. It's also worth just filling in this little back section here with some birch planks or oak planks just so that we don't leave any gaps in the ship. Now let's add some detail here. So we have to add a series of stairs, platforms and doors. All the way over here on the left, inside of the shape that we've made, we want to place two, one, two birch stairs extending from this bottom corner red concrete. We then want to place two more rows of stairs extending up and back like this and extend a row of spruce planks extending from the upper set of birch stairs until we get all the way over to the left. Then we will want to place the equivalent two birch stairs here connecting to the side of the cabin area and then another two rows of stairs extending forwards and down like this. We then just want to fill underneath these stairs in using birch planks like so. And underneath the spruce planks, we want to add a couple of rows of oak planks. And we will also want to mark out where the center of this area is. So I can usually do this quite well by kind of just eyeballing it. I bet that you guys can as well. These seem to be the two middle blocks. And the point of finding them is that we can place the, stairs, uh, the doors here and it will allow us to place some stairs later on and also one of the masts. So to know if you found the middle, we have one, two, three, four, five rows on the left, one, two, three, four, five rows on the right. And then behind this, we want to place a row of one, two, three, four, five rows of oak planks extending from the top back of the row that we have just made. And then on top of this fifth row, we want to place on the left and right sides two birch planks extending in like this and then extend the birch planks forwards, place birch stairs in front of those planks on top, birch planks behind and then birch stairs on top like this. So we once again have a row of three, so birch planks in front, stairs in front of that, on top, planks behind, stairs on top of that. We then want to place spruce planks in between the top set of birch stairs. We then want to fill underneath this in using oak planks. However, we will also want to have a double set of doors in the middle as well. So we can just drop down here, take note of the position and then place them in the same sort of manner as we did down below. And then here's where things are a little bit different this time. We are just going to add three rows of oak planks directly behind everything that we've just made, just up at the top. And then we are going to, in the middle here, so again, we just locate the previous row of doors, we'll place birch planks just in the middle, Birch stairs in front, 
birch planks on top or birch stairs on top of the planks like this so we have two rows of stairs this time and then left and right of this we are going to place oak planks and then we will just fill this area in behind. And after all of our hard work, we will be left with this. We also have some detail to add on to the side of the cabins. So we want to come and locate this block right here. Hopefully you guys will be able to find it along this bottom row. It's the not first, second, third, but it's the fourth red concrete block in. And we want to place two red terracotta extending to the right. Leave a gap of two, two red terracotta leave a gap of two, then place two more red terracotta. We then want to place light blue glass on top of the terracotta, add another row of terracotta like this, and then we want to, leaving a gap above the back pair of windows that we've made, dig into the side of the ship and place yellow concrete above the window. So just leave a gap of one, yellow concrete on the side, and that's perfect. And we want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side also. So one, two, three, four, two red terracotta, gap of two, red terracotta, gap of two, red terracotta, glass on top of the red terracotta, red terracotta on top of the glass, leave a gap of one extending up, and then place yellow concrete above the back pair of windows. We are now going to add some more shape to the front of the ship and funnily enough to do that we have to start in the middle. Come to the right side of the ship and we are looking for this oak plank block right next to the middle cannon cover. Place three, one, two, three birch planks extending up. Extend left by two, one, two. We then want to extend in one and then up by two, one, two. Forwards by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then want to extend left one and forwards by two, one, two. Left one and then forwards by two, one, two. And then down by two, one, two. Left one, forwards one. Left one, forwards by three, one, two, three. Left one, forwards by two, one, two. Left one, forwards one. Left by three, one, two, three. In one, left one. And then in by two, one, two. Left one. And then in by three, one, two, three. Left, in. And then left, and then up by two, one, two. Extend back by two, one, two. Left, back by two, one, two. Left. And then back by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then want to extend down two, one, two, left, and then back two, one, two, and then extend down. So the end result should look like this. So what we then want to do is place a row of birch planks that sits on top of the shape of the ship and follows the layer of birch that is above. So it's kind of tricky to put into words, really. Although that might have actually have just explained it, hopefully, but it's hopefully a bit easier to see what you have to do like this. So we're just following the shape above and it's kind of like a hard shape to follow as well. But we just want to follow the shape along and this is essentially going to create two areas which we will then be able to join together. So that is the whole point in doing this. There we go, that's perfect. So this looks really weird now, but if we fill in between the two rows in using spruce planks,
And now that we have created this shape, what we now want to do is connect these sides together. So to do this, we want to locate this birch plank here and just drop down. And we want to place a row of birch planks extending left to right like this from the top row of spruce. We then want to place a couple of rows of spruce extending across underneath the birch planks that we've just played. like so, and then underneath that layer, we can add a row of oak planks to fill the bottom of the shape in that we've just created. So just completely filling this in. And wherever we have the floating birch planks birch plank blocks we just want to add spruce planks underneath them and the end result should look like this next we want to add and i don't know the technical name for this big pointy thing on the front of the ship so to place this we want to locate the two middle rows of the ship which is really easy and then follow these back to the wall that we created we want to place a two by two row of a yellow concrete like this and then three rows of spruce planks in front of this so one two Free. We then want to add cyan terracotta in front of these top two blocks, extend the cyan terracotta, terracotta upwards like this. We then want to place spruce planks in front of the top row of cyan terracotta, extend up. We then want to extend the planks forwards by three rows, so one, two, three. We then want to add another row of cyan terracotta in front of the top row of the spruce planks, extend up. And then we are going to place, or maybe, actually, maybe we'll just have the single row of terracotta here, and then one, two, three, four, five. And I think that that looks pretty good. Maybe we can even extend the terracotta downwards like this. I think that that looks pretty good, maybe. Or maybe we could extend... No, I, I think that that, uh, that looks pretty good. We'll just extend the terracotta down, I think, so that it just looks supported. And there we go. That's perfect. Next, we are going to fill the middle of the ship in. So we are essentially making the deck. So add oak planks underneath the birch stairs that we placed a little bit earlier that lead us up to the cabins. And we just want to add another row of oak planks just behind these, like so. We then want to extend the oak planks forwards. And the idea is that we want to line up like this. So we want to line up with where we have the row of three spruce planks like this. And... If we just add in the outline rows, so extending from the stairs towards the front of the deck here, filling in these gaps where necessary. So we place the oak planks just behind here, so it sits inside of the birch planks, and then we extend the oak planks to join each other like this. What we are then able to do is fill the middle of this in, and then this, and then the top here, all using oak planks. On both sides of the deck, we are going to remove this layer of oak planks here and replace it using spruce slabs, like so, just to make it a little bit more obvious where you are meant to actually board the airship. 
There we go. After that, we have three separate propellers to make on the deck. So the first of which is actually all the way up here on the back, and it is on the first level. The way that we position this is in front of this double set of doors, we leave a gap of one and then place a two by two square of cyan terracotta like this. We then place four layers of oak planks on top. One, two, three, four. Then we add a layer of yellow concrete and then two more layers of oak planks. Then a layer of cyan, light gray concrete, cyan, then we are going to add a layer of spruce planks. Around the spruce planks we are going to place oak trap doors like this. Then we want to add two layers of oak fence on top of these spruce planks with then a layer of cyan terracotta and then four more layers of oak fence. One, two, three, four. The end result will look like this. We aren't quite finished however as we want to take the light grey concrete row and on the left and right sides we are going to extend the light grey concrete one, two, three, four rows outwards and then up and then out by one like this and we're going to do this on both sides one, two, three, four, up and out, one, two, three, four, up and out and finally, we will end up with something that should look like this. So now that we have made that first propeller, we are actually going to do the exact same thing on the front of the ship as well. So on the front of the ship, on this raised deck, we are going to line up with where we have the pointing thing that we made earlier. And in the oak planks, you will be able to find the middle and place a two by two square of cyan terracotta. You'll have two rows of oak on the left and two rows of oak on the right. We then literally want to do the exact same thing. So four rows of oak planks on top, one, two, three, four. Then a layer of yellow concrete, followed by two rows of oak planks, cyan terracotta, light gray concrete, cyan, spruce planks. Then we add the trapdoors around the planks. Then we add two layers of fence, then cyan terracotta, and then finally four layers of fence. And now that we've done that, we want to have the same propeller pattern as we do on the back. So the blades will extend out one, two, three, four, and then up and out on the opposite side. One, two, three, four, up and out. the end result should look like this. So for the final propeller, unfortunately, there isn't really like a center of the middle deck. It isn't even, but we can get pretty close. And to do that, in front of these double doors, we want to count and find the sixth block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cyan terracotta, one behind, extend across like so. Then this time it's a bit different, 10 rows of oak planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then a layer of yellow concrete, followed by two layers of oak planks, followed by then a layer of cyan terracotta, light gray concrete, cyan terracotta, spruce planks, and then oak trapdoors flipped down around the planks. Two layers of oak fence, then a layer of cyan terracotta, four layers of oak fence, one, two, three, four, And then, last but not least, we have to make the actual blade. So this one is a bit different in that we are going to have it face the other way. So the front and back, one, two, three, four, up and out. One, two, three, four, up and out. 
And with all of that together, we should have something that should look like this. The last thing we have to make is Bowser's face on the front of the ship. So come all the way down to the bottom front of the airship and you're looking for the top right hand corner oak plank here. We then want to extend inwards diagonally towards the center by two, one, two, and then place four, one, two, three, four, green concrete extending forwards. Then extend down by three, one, two, three, and then place four white terracotta extending down, one, two, three, four. We then want to extend back by placing green concrete like this, and then we can fill the side of this in using green concrete as well. On this side of the head here, we want to place not the corner block, but extending inwards diagonally, we want to place a light gray concrete with two white concrete on top, like so. And we can then come all the way over to the opposite side and do pretty much the same level of detail. So starting from this corner here, extend inwards, one, two, and then one, two, three, four green concrete. We then extend down, one, two, three, place four white terracotta, one, two, three, four, we then extend back using green concrete and then fill this area in like so. So a lot of the top of Bowser's head will be filled in using red concrete, but we are actually just going to fill most of it in with green concrete first of all. And then, oh, we can also make the horn as well. So on this opposite side, the top left hand corner extend down by one inwards diagonally, light gray concrete to white concrete on top just like this. The face is ever so slightly tricky, so first of all, we're just going to fill the bottom of this in using three rows of green concrete like so, and then a layer of white terracotta. Then we want to add three rows of white terracotta extending forward, so one, two, three, just from the bottom, and one, two, three. We then want to place a smooth quartz slab extending inwards from each one of these rows, so not on the ends, but the first row in like this. And then behind and to the left, we want to place white terracottas, extend them up, then forwards, join them together. We then want to place a white terracotta on each corner, and then on top of the two middle blocks as well, with a light gray terracotta in between. On these sides, we will fill these in using white terracotta, like so. And we also want to fill the top of the nose in using white terracotta. Then inside of the mouth, we are going to add uh, red concrete like this, just so that it kind of like covers up all of this empty space, like so. And it kind of gives us like this cool effect. It, it adds like a nice little bit of depth. And once we've done that, we want to make Bowser's eyes as well. So to make Bowser's eyes, on the ends of this green concrete row here, we want to add white concrete, black, green, raise up the green up to the top, add an additional white and black on top of each of these, red concrete on top of the eyes, extend the red concrete outwards, and then up and out diagonally to the top two corners like so. And then we want to give Bowser hair, so we're going to just add a strip of red concrete on the left and right sides like this, right? And then join it together around the front. And then we'll add another row just above and behind this. Add say red concrete here and here, just like so, just to like mess it up a little bit. You don't have to be too precise. And now that we've done that, we have to add a collar around Bowser's neck, so that would be I don't know whether to dig into the side of this, but let's start off by placing a row of black concrete just around the left, right, pretty much all the way around actually, I don't know what I'm saying. So we want to add black concrete all the way around the head, so the green concrete like this, right? And we still want to have the light grey concrete, we don't want to destroy any of that, but we want to place stone buttons along the side of the black concrete like so. There we go, and this is basically just the collar that Bowser wears, so we're not going to place it on the diagonal blocks, but just all the way around the edge like this, and just on the top. Did I add it on the top on the other side as well? I did. 
and we also just want to extend it. Do we want to extend it back or can we just leave it as is? I think we'll leave it like that. And once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually not only Bowser's head complete, but the entire ship as well. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other content. I'll specifically show you some more Mario-related builds that I've been working on recently. And in case you do want to build any of these, they all have tutorials. I'll leave links for each one of those videos individually in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Good. Bye.